Hi, I'm Jeff with Blackout Lighting Console here at Lux Lighting New York, and today we're talking about DMX, Artnet, and SACN. If you haven't noticed, lights are getting smarter, and on a professional film set, you'll see lights that have DMX input or wireless DMX built in, or they'll even have an ethernet port. What's that about? DMX is simply a lighting protocol. It allows you to talk to lights if you send it the DMX protocol and they are DMX capable. DMX allows you to send up to 512 channels of information across one cable. This is called a universe. Each channel has a value from zero to 255, and depending on that value, the light will do different things, such as dim up and down, or change the color temperature, or the red value, and so on. This sky panel has many different parameters, such as dimmer, color temperature, tint, crossfade, red, green, blue, white. Each of these is independently controlled by one channel of DMX. In this mode, mode one, it's taking up 12 channels, which you can easily see in the sky panel manual. I can switch this to a different mode and it will give me different parameters to adjust. I may want to do this because maybe I'm trying to condense the number of channels one fixture takes if I have a ton of different fixtures and I only have a limited number of universes that I'm outputting. Or maybe I don't need all of the parameters of the sky panel to adjust and I just need dimmer and CCT, so I can put it in that mode. Additionally, some modes allow for 16-bit control, which means instead of one parameter being controlled by one channel, one parameter is now controlled by two channels working conjunctively. Why would you need this? So a DMX channel has a value from zero to 255, right? That's 256 steps. This moving light can pan 540 degrees, which means that I wouldn't even be able to pan this in increments of one degree because there's not enough steps. That's where 16-bit control comes in. 16-bit consists of two channels, a coarse channel and a fine channel. For every 256 steps the fine channel goes, the coarse channel advances one. Another 256 steps, two. 256 steps, three. When you do the math, that's 65,536 steps in any given parameter. Now you can really fine tune your moving lights position. Now that I'm in mode six, which is a 16-bit protocol, this sky panel is taking up 20 channels, which means that only 25 units can fit on one universe. So what if I have 100 sky panels? In order to control 100 sky panels, you would need multiple universes. Remember, 512 channels is one universe. So we would need four universes to control 100 sky panels in mode six. How do you output four universes? Well, you may have a lighting board and on the back it has four ports, which could each be configured to a different universe. But what if your console is 100 feet away? That's a lot of cables to run up to that first point where you will then branch off to all of your other lights. That's why we run ethernet from the console to that first main point. Simply put, SACN and Artnet are lighting protocols, like DMX, but they go over Ethernet instead of XLR. Basically, they allow you to transmit multiple universes of DMX over Ethernet. And depending on the bandwidth of your cable, they allow you to transmit hundreds or even thousands of universes across one cable. That's pretty awesome. Now, to be honest, I've used both Artnet and SACN and have not had any issues. But the deeper you dive into lighting control, the more you'll see people fight over which protocol to use. Basically, try one out, test it for yourself, and see which one works for you. Wireless DMX replaces this XLR cable between two points. It consists of a transmitter, which transmits DMX, and a receiver, which receives DMX. And you can have multiple receivers, which act like multiple cables tied to this transmitter. There's like a half a dozen major wireless transmitter receiver companies out there, and they all have different protocols, from City Theatrical with Show DMX, to Wireless Solution with WDMX, RC4 with RC4 Magic, and finally, the most common you'll see in the film industry, CRMX, which is built by Lumen Radio. The new KinoFlow fixtures, Astera tubes, the SkyPanel S360s, Airy Orbiter, and Light Gear light mats all have CRMX receivers built in. So if you have any one of those lights, you probably already have a wireless receiver. If you like this video and found it helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more. Tell me in the comments what you'd like to see and I'll see you in the next video.